Here we are opening up PC3000 span image files by selecting a span of chunks as a span storage. Select all the .bin files, as you can see here, and then click Open. And then you want to sort it by selecting Sort Files, choose the ASLAB LBA order, and you'll notice that it automatically places spaceholders for the gaps. Click Build. And now what we want to do um, is import the bad sector block uh, map from DE tasks through the enable map of blocks, load the map file, and then open. We want to assume that any sector not read from the clone is a bad sector by clicking assume this data is bad. In our case, this project was created with 4K sectors, so we'll need to adjust for that and uh, select IO error for adaptive reconstruction. Now we follow the usual steps in UFS to select and save files by opening the partition, choosing to find the permanent selection, select the files and folder we want to save. For the demo, we are just selecting the documents folder. But before we save uh, the data, let's confirm the default settings are set to move the, the damaged files to a bad files subfolder. These settings will remain with UFS until they are changed in the future. So Now it's just a matter of choose save all the selection to save the files to a target folder and let UFS do its thing. And as you can see, we'll have a log showing three files reported errors and can be found in the bad files folder, maintaining their full file path just like it would have been had we saved them out with Data Extractor. This is a great way to move file saving tasks from PC3000 to a less costly system. Hope this video was helpful for you. Be sure to post any comments below, like this video, and give us a follow.